Primarily they come from North Philly, but uh, now we take them from all over the city, especially what's going on in the city with all the crime and whatnot. And we're trying to reach out to as many young people as we possibly can. But going back to this, how it all started for me to give back to Temple, the Temple community. Not just Temple itself, but the community, because I spent my adult life in that area. You what, know. what was your affiliation in Temple? I, was, I retired as a lieutenant with his campus police department after like, I think it was 32 or 33 years, something like that. But we started this program along with uh, uh, Mr. White, who was the vice president at Temple at the time, and uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Berman. He, he uh, so the three of us started this program in 1996, I think it was. How many kids have come through the program, do you think? Oh, man. I would say over 1,400 in that period of time, 1,400. Can you and describe like said, the program a little bit? Yeah, what, what we do, basically what we do, uh, we bring the kids down here. It's primary was a summer program. We bring the kids down here uh, during the summer months just to get them out the neighborhood expose them to uh, the horses and you know we have them riding but the whole thing wasn't designed to make riders out of them but it's just to, to get them out the neighborhoods and uh, uh, I know one of the things that it did for me when my kids were young I think my oldest boy who's 33 now when he was about 12 uh, with all my kids we got involved in horses and I like to think and matter of fact I know that it built up their self-confidence and uh, it's one of the reasons why I think, well. Have you seen any of your young, of the younger kids that come to the Bill Pickett Riding Academy, have you seen any of them really be affected by um, uh, riding horses? Or, or um, I guess, have, have you seen any transformations of, of, of young people um, other than your kids getting to come here? Yeah, there's one uh, young man that comes to mind. He came here, his name is Muhammad. He would live here if I would let him. You know, <laughs> he, uh, he came here and, you know, you, you couldn't understand what he was saying. He mumbled, you know, he was very, you know, and, um, and, uh, and he's been here about six months now, and you can see the gradual change. I can understand what he's saying now. He sticks his chest out when he, he does things because kids that came through after him, he's like showing them what to do. So it gives that little peer thing. He walks around now with his chest out and whatnot, and they look up to him, you know. And then, um, so he's the one that come to mind. And, you know, when they come on the weekends, we tell Muhammad, you tell your mom to come back and pick you up at 1.30. Well, if we don't stay on top of him about that, he would never call his mom. <laughs> uh, name is Ike Johnstone. Right now we're at the Bill Pickett Riding Academy located on West River Drive in uh, Montgomery, Fairmont Park, Philadelphia.